Welcome everyone to the Math 100 Exam 1 Review. We're going to go over all the different problem types that you uh, are responsible for. And the first one is find the digit associated with the place value and then find the value of that digit. So we got a number here and in problem one we're going to find out how many 10 millions are there in this number and what's the value. So we need to find the 10 millions place. And again, ones, thousands, millions. So here's the millions group. Ten is the second one over. So five is the digit in the ten millions place. And now the value is five times the place value. All right, the, the digit in that place times the place value. Place value is 10 million. And when you multiply this out, well, the only thing you have to multiply by is the 1. So that turns this into 50 million. So the value of that digit is 50 million. Practice. How many millions are there in this number? And what is the value of this digit? Now just a reminder, I'm not stopping the video, so you should pause, work on it, and restart the video. So millions then, all right, here's the millions group. The single millions are the one to the right. So that digit is two, so there are two millions. And the value of that is two times one million, or two million. Next up, we're gonna write a number in expanded notation. So we're gonna find the value is like this for all these digits, and then expanded notation is all these values added together. So let's start with the 2. And to find the value of a digit, we're going to take the shortcut this time, and we're going to keep that digit, and all the other digits become zeros. And that automatically gives you the value of the 2. Now we'll do the same thing with the 5. 5 and all zeros, 6 and all zeros. Skip the zero. Go to three, that's 30,000. We got 2,000 for the two, 900 for the nine, 10 for the one, and finally a three. So there's expanded notation. All right, practice. So we got a nine in the 10 millions place, so that is 90 million. Two in the millions place, two million. Seven in the hundred thousands place. One in the ten thousands place, we got ten thousand there. And a zero, so we'll skip that. Go over to the two, that's two hundred. Skip the zero, and put a three on the end. Now we're gonna do the reverse. Go back to standard notation. So just keep the digits in their place. And where you don't see a number for that particular place, it becomes a zero. So we're gonna start with a four. There's a four in the 10 millions place. We got a three in the single millions place. So 43 million. And in the hundred thousands place, we have a seven. Do we have a 10? No 10 thousand place, so we're skipping that. That becomes a zero, go on to the nine. I didn't mean to say skip it, I mean fill in a zero for that one. Okay, nine goes there, now we got in the hundreds place, we have a two, we got a six to the tens place, and an eight. 43 million, 709,268. All right, practice. Seven in the mains place. Nothing in the hundred thousands place, so put a zero there. Five in the ten thousandth place and a four in the thousandth place. Six in the hundredth place, eight in the tens place, and no singles, so a zero there. Next up, we're writing word names for numbers.
we're going to write the word name for this number. Keep in mind, we're breaking this number up into groups of three. We're going to translate the group of three first, 258. And then followed with the group name, which is millions. Or a million. So 258 million, there were no ands in these. Here we have 91,000. Three seventy four. So we got two hundred and fifty eight million ninety one thousand three hundred seventy four. Practice. Okay, so uh, first group here, 83, that is the millions group, so 83 million, 912, I think I mistakenly said and, 912. 406. Oops, 912,000. And four. Four hundred six. Next up, arithmetic. We'll start with the addition. You got problem type five. So we're going to add these together. Make sure you write your carry digits prominently in the rows. All right, well, don't make one row. So we got 8 and 7, that's 15. Carry the 1. 10 and 6, that's 16. Carry the 1. 2, 4, 6, got a 6 there. Over here, a 3, that's 13. Carry the 1 and 5. 53, 665. Next up, subtraction. All right, subtracting, 8 minus 1 gives us a 7. Now this one we're going to need to borrow. We can't borrow from the 0, so we'll go all the way over to the 2. Turn that into a 1. The 0 becomes a 10. We'll borrow from that. It becomes a 9. And we get 11 there. So 11 minus 9 is 2. 9 minus 3 is 6. All right, now we have to borrow again, so the 3 is going to become a 2, turning that into 11. 11 minus 2 is 9. 2 minus 7, let's see, we'll borrow again, turn that into a 7, then we got 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. 7 minus 3 is 4. And 1 on the end. 1,459,627. Okay, so we're going to Next up, multiplication. Seven thousand two hundred eighty-five times twenty-four. 
All right, get it multiplied by the 4 first. So you get a 20 there. Gives us 2. Hmm. Put them down with room here. So carry the 2. Now we do 8 times 4, that's 32 plus 2 is 34. Carry the 3. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 1, 29. All right, next row. Put in the leading 0. 5 times 2 is 10, gives us another 0. Carry digit up here, 1. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So another one to carry there. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And then 7 times 2 gives us 14. And finally, we'll add these together. One hundred and seventy-four thousand eight hundred and forty. Problem type A, division. We're going to divide twelve thousand four hundred twenty-nine by twenty-nine. All right, twenty-nine does not go into one or twelve, but it will go into one hundred and twenty-four. That will be four times. All right, four times nine gives us thirty-six. Carry the three. Two times four is eight. Plus three is eleven. Subtracting, we get eight. Bring down the 2. 29 will go into 82 twice. That is 58. Subtract that. We're going to get 24 there. Bring down the 9. Let's see. Estimating, I'm going to call this 30. 30 would go into 250. Eight times. Let's try that. Eight times nine is seventy-two. Hmm. That's not work. Eighty-nine. Eight times nine is Yeah, I guess that's it. All right, 72. Carry the 7. 2 times 8 is 16. 23. And 17. So our answer then is 428, remainder 17. Now, remember, if when you check these, we're going to multiply 428 by 29 and then add the 17. You have to add the 17, it should be back to Problem type 9, we're going to write a product in exponent form. So, for example, we are given a bunch of 5s being multiplied.
multiplied. That's seven fives being multiplied. So the number being multiplied is the base. The number of times it appears is the exponent. So that is five to the seventh power. Practice. Write that in exponent form. So 28 is the number being multiplied, and it appears five times. 28 to the fifth power. Now we're going to do the reverse and evaluate. So 5 to the third power, for example. Right now, I'll write it out as multiplication. 5 is the number being multiplied, and it appears 3 times. 5 times 5 times 5. Multiply that out, we get 125. Practice. Four to the fifth power. Right. Four is the number being multiplied, and it appears five times. I'm going to combine a couple of these pairs into 16s, and then 16 times 16 is 256, times 4 gives us 1,024. Well, let's see. Okay. Order of operations. So problem type 11, we're going to evaluate using order of operations. Of operation, we're going to start with parentheses. So I'm going to evaluate inside here. Everything else stays the same. 3 plus 5 is 8. All right, next up is exponents. So 3 to the 0, anything to the 0 power has a value of 1. It is not 0. All right, now we're going to do uh, multiplication and division. Where we're going to work left to right. So we're going to start off with this division here. 6 divided by 2 is 3. All right, now the leftmost one is this one. 3 times 8 is 24. Now here we can use a little bit of a shortcut because we have an operation here on one level and an operation here on one level separated by something on a lower level. As it turns out, it won't affect things if we go ahead and multiply the second one as well. So. We can speed things up a little bit there. And then finally add them together, and then we get 26. All right, practice. My first one, exponent first. So 4 squared, that gives us 16. All right, next one is multiplication. Always leave addition and subtraction for last. So we do 16 times 2 to be 32. And then finally add to get 40. All right, next one, we got parentheses here. Now we'll square 4 to get 16. Now we've got multiplication over here, division over here, just like we saw before. When we're separated by something on the lower level here, it means we can do both of these. So 8 times 2 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 16 minus 8 gives us 8. Uh, 
All right, application problems. Now, keep in mind your keywords. Things like total, how much, how many, all. That's addition. Uh, the difference, how much more, how much greater, anything uh, representing a comparison, the subtraction. Multiplication is where we want to take a bunch of things that are the same and find the total. So, 10 items that cost $5 each, we're going to multiply to get 50. Uh, let's see, other keywords, uh, times multiplied by, things like that. And then division, anytime we're taking a whole and breaking it up into equal pieces, or taking a bunch of something and breaking it up into equal piles, uh, look for per, divided by, or quotient of. And that would indicate division. All right, from example, we're going to find the fuel economy of the vehicle. We need two odometer readings, and we've got them here, 134.185 and 134.34.377. We're going to subtract these to get the miles driven, so the larger number has to go on top. So 134.377 minus 134.375. All right, subtracting these, we got a 2 here. Can't subtract here until we borrow, so borrow from here, turn that into 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. 2 minus 1 is 1. 4 minus 4 is 0. Actually, 134 minus 134 is 0. So the total mileage is 192. All right. 192 miles driven. Right now, we're going to divide by 8 gallons of gas. So 192. Divided by 8, it goes to 19 twice, 16, subtract, you get 32, and 4. So the vehicle gets 24 miles per gallon. Practice. Mark has a checking account with a balance of 1548. He deposits two paychecks. Then writes two checks. What's the total amount of money in his account? All right, adding together all of the income, all right, we've got a starting balance, 1584, two paychecks, that's income. So we're going to add all those together to get a, a balance. There we got 9 and 1 is 10, plus 8 is 18. Carry the 1 here, we got 10, 14, 15. Carry the 1, 11, 16, 17. Carry the 1, and 2. So he's at the 27, 58. All right, now we've got some withdrawals here. We've got... Now there are two different ways you can do this. He writes two checks. You can either subtract them individually or add the two checks together and then subtract them. So the checks are 215 and 89. So we'll add those together. 5 and 9 is 14. Carry the 1. Got a 10 there. Carry the 1. 3. All right, so 304 in bills. So this is income. And bills. So subtracting the bills from the income, and let's just put a mark. Mark has twenty four fifty four left. Oops. Next up, a developer is creating eight equally sized parcels of land out of a plot with an area of 1,256 acres. How many acres are in each parcel? All right, they're all equally sized. So since we're splitting a whole of 1,256 acres into eight equally sized pieces, we can divide. 
So A goes into 12 once. Subtract get a 4. Bring down the 5. 8 will go into 45 five times. Multiply to get 4 8. Subtract get a 5. Bring down the 6. Finally, 8 times 7 is 56. So each parcel is 157, and the units are acres. So to prepare for the exam, I recommend going through uh, each of these problem types, see which ones you're having trouble with. There's a list of practice problems, and go through and practice until you can't possibly get them wrong. Good luck.